Red Alliance scoring a cone. Blue Alliance doing the same here during the autonomous period. Team 6181 up and over the charge station, looking to dock and engage. Final second, back and forth. Looks like they will do so successfully. Fantastic programming by that team. Students now in control of the robot. 27 to 14, Blue Alliance, or Red Alliance, excuse me, holding on to their lead. Bison Robotics scoring a cone and flying over to the middle of the field in search of another game piece to score on the top row. Team 6181 wasting no time. Cryptic Cyborgs contributing to the Red Alliance's score. Trying to gain that lead back. Still plenty of time on the clock. Stellar Robotics scoring a cone on the top row for the Blue Alliance, who already have one link created. That's two cones and a cube next to each other on each of those rows. Five of those, and they'll gain an extra rank point for this match. 44 blue, 39 red, the score here in match number 13, 14. Team 8037 in possession of a cone, places it down on the bottom row for the Red Alliance. Team 5413 out of Shelby. Heading over to their loading station. They're in possession of a cube. We'll see if they can place it and gain another link for the Blue Alliance as we head into the last 30 seconds of the match. Red Alliance not to be outdone, have two links completed themselves. As they begin to place two of their robots on the charge station, Looks like the Red Alliance will have all three robots docked and engaged with five seconds left on the clock. Blue Alliance trying to get Stellar Robotics and Bison Robotics up there. Oh, just not in time. 96 to 90, very close match. Three rank points to the Red Alliance, one rank point for Blue. Everybody walks away, moving up in the standings. Coming up next, match number 15.